and get your kiss on. Not a cop, some uh, milk tea. I've never had this one before. All right, good thing this milk tea isn't common because it just tastes like watered down milk tea. Just less sweet, kind of shit. But anyway, what's up, my quesadillas? Right now, I'm in the beautiful continent of Shinjuku. This video is gonna be a more serious video because we're gonna go to um, Aoki Gahara, which is like, it's like a, it's the suicide forest. Probably all know what it is. It's become really popular recently. There was a movie made out of it, a bunch of documentaries on it, and then the whole Logan Paul incident. I really shouldn't go because all my vlogs are just me acting stupid. That's most of my videos. I don't know. But obviously suicide and you know, all this it's a more sensitive topic. So I'm gonna like try not to be funny or like sarcastic or anything in this video. I just really don't wanna pull a Logan Paul. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get through this vlog without doing anything up. I did not know it took this long to get to Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is right next to Aokigahara, by the way. I don't ever want to come here again, to be honest. The journey was kind of exhausting. Kind of costs a lot, too. Like, probably going to cost almost 100 bucks this whole trip. But yeah, we got on the wrong bus to get to Aokigahara. But, like, we're kind of close enough to walk to the bus stop that will take us to Aokigahara. So we're going to go do that right now. This is the lake. There's Mount Fuji right there. We're kind of low-key stranded out here. I feel kind of lost. I feel a little migle. At least the scenery is pretty. A nice lake here got a beautiful man right there got some beautiful flowers right there what is this lake called again what this lake right here uh no fucking clue the one we're going to is like psycho though oh okay, okay. all right so we're at lake no fucking clue the one we're not but we're walking around this lake making good progress yeah we're just trying to get to this bus stop so we can get to aoki gahara i don't know if i should keep calling it aoki gahara or just keep saying the suicide force but i don't want to just keep calling it the suicide force because it's like I don't know, I don't, you know, it feels weird, you know what I'm saying? It's just weird when I'm like, let's go to the suicide forest, you know? But I think we're almost there. Oh shit, wait, there's a whole lot more to this lake. We're walking around the lake still. We've been walking for like 20 minutes. It's kind of dark in here. Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce you to my friends. Here, I'll not wait till there's light. So one of these guys, his name's Oscar. I met him at the Denver meetup right before I left Colorado. Didn't you like come for your little brother? I remember, like your little brother watched me. You literally came for your little brother. But basically, got connected through that and then he was out here in Japan. So he hit me up and then, yeah, now we're here. Mount Fuji. This might have been a mistake. I don't know. We're just making the most of this. This is Oscar right here. Oh yeah, my dad's name is Oscar. So it's kind of weird saying Oscar. That's like not my dad. Daddy. And then this is Noel. He's just a Middle Eastern guy from uh, Lebanon, Jordan. Arabia, Yemen, something 9 11 no, I'm just kidding, he's Mexican. They're both Mexican. He looks like Middle Eastern. He doesn't look Mexican. I look white. Nah, you look like an exotic white person. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> she looks like, she doesn't look Mexican. She looks like she an exotic white person. Yeah. She just looks like one of those white people that doesn't look white. You know what I'm saying? We're almost to the bus stop that we're trying to get to, and then we'll finally make it to Aoki Gahara. It's like pretty peaceful out here. It's nice walking around, but we we're talking about earlier. It's kind of creepy out here. I don't know. It's like, it's like ghost town type. Yeah, it's like ghost town, kind of like sad, like kind of depressing kind of feel. So it makes sense that the suicide force would be here. Like, I don't know, look at this. It's like cool, but um. So we walked all this way and we're at the bus stop now. There's some vending machines over there. And while we were getting some drinks, the bus passed. So we're waiting for the next bus, but it's already past the time. Like the bus should be here by now. So I think we missed the bus i think there's no more buses left i think we're stranded out here i think this vlog is going to be called stranded by the suicide forest man how do we go home i see a bus <gasps> that's a bus is that a bus or a car that's a bus that's a bus <gasps> is this the bus home oh that shit's turning what the fuck <laughs> Wow. All right, so I think there's no more buses to get to the suicide forest, but then there's no more buses to get back to the station we were at, like before, before. And so we're actually stranded out here. Holy ah! There's a udon shop right here. I'm gonna walk in here real quick. I'm gonna see if it's open. I'm gonna ask them like, see if they, I could find any information. All right, here, let's check this out. Udon place right here. This looks like a normal house. Uh, hello? Actually, I don't think this place is open. It looks like a normal house inside. Looks like a restaurant. You can get into there, but I don't think it's open right now. I think it's closed. Yeah, there's like a ghost town. It looks like everything's a prop here. You think that's the bus home? Is that the bus home? All right, so this is the bus back to our train station. So we got lucky, so we'll be able to go home. Unfortunately, we didn't even get to the suicide force, so that sucks. What's up, my quesadillas? We were unsuccessful in getting to the suicide force, but at least 
we're safe, we're healthy, and we're on the way home. But actually, one thing I wanted to do for this video, I want to talk about suicide. Oh, uh -huh. it's very serious, obviously. Uh, so I wanted to like kind of talk about it. Do you have any experience with suicide? Wait, like personally, like yeah, yeah. real talk. Yeah, yeah. I know three people back in high well, one in middle school, one in elementary school, and one in high school. Well, actually, a few in high school, but those were just people I knew. Mm -hmm. Elementary school was a close friend. It was like a little family friend before I went into elementary school. Yeah. And his parents, they were abusive to him. They were drug addicts and killed himself at eight. And high school and middle school. I think it was more the same shit deal, family problems, like family problems go away. Like even if they don't seem like they're gonna go away, all your problems are gonna go away. You just gotta keep on pushing through that bullshit because we've all been through some fucking stupid ass shit, whether it be your parents divorcing, whether your parents not supporting you or anything, you know, just anything like you know, maybe get fired break up there's always a light at the end of the tunnel life always gets better even if you hit rock bottom you can only go up from there a lot of people know that i faked a japanese accent for like my sophomore year of high school and i basically like faked this character this whole persona right but like doing that for the whole year kind of like f***ed up my mental and uh i mean yeah i got i got pretty depressed and uh it was never like super serious to the point where like i almost did it but i've definitely had thoughts of uh, suicide. We've all had thoughts. Cameraman behind has had thoughts. Exactly. I've had thoughts. We're all we're all going through shit. So it's like, up to your own will to be able to push through whatever problems or your mindset or whatever. And if you think it's more of a mental thing, like and, you're not even depressed and shit, and look, like, go get help. Yeah, and if you don't think you can handle it on your own, you need to talk to people. Like for me, it was a mental thing. Like I was able to overcome it myself. But I know there's a lot of people who aren't able to do that. So please seek help, like talk to your friends, talk to your family, like there's people out there for you. People care about you more than you know. I haven't really had anything serious, but you know, I've, I've had I've had my, uh, I've had my downs. All my quesadillas out there. Any of you guys are depressed or anything like, hit me up. Really, get help. You can do it, all right. Life gets better. It doesn't, oh. So we're about to take the train back home, but let's take one good look at Mount Fuji real quick. Isn't it beautiful? It's pretty freaking beautiful. Uh, Dude, that is good. He was deciding on whether to get what, like milk, coffee, or corn soup. And I just pressed corn soup from him. He's like, what the f And then he drank it. He's like, damn. So we made it back home safely. We're in Shinjuku now. We just got some ramen. My favorite ramen place. Spicy ramen. All right, hey guys. I was kind of... Uh, in my feels because as i was finishing this video i remembered an old message i got it was about this kid either nikora or nikora if it, if he's japanese but he was a quesadilla basically let me just read this dm to you this is my friend nikora he passed away from suicide last year on the 15th of december i know you will probably never see this but i thought i should let you know that you're one of his favorite youtubers and that you helped put a smile on his face please keep doing what you do um, yeah, it, it makes me happy that you know, my videos brung a smile to his face, but it also makes me sad that like it wasn't enough. I don't know what he was going through, but I just think that if he just reached out to me, I could have talked to him. I could have, I could have potentially saved his life. There could be one less dead person in the world. I right know. I remember back then when I got this message, I posted on the gram and I just said today's vid dedicated to you buddy but the thing is i didn't even post a video that day the next video was just a random video had nothing to do with anything about that maybe i just posted that on the gram to just look good or something i don't know like the intention was there but um it really wasn't genuine so this video is dedicated to you i just wish you talked to me i know there's a lot of people going through shit out there and uh and i want you guys to truly know there's there's people out there for you and, and even if no one cares like i care about you i'm serious like besides all this youtube shit like i got nothing else i didn't do good in school like i know you guys are my fans or my followers or whatever but but you guys are my friends even if i don't know you personally i care about you guys all right so please don't don't hesitate to to hit me up or anything if 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 you're feeling down it doesn't matter how many messages i get i'll i'll apply to every single one please just talk to someone 
ending of life is never the answer. In fact, when I was 16, faking a Japanese accent for a year, when I was happy, I kind of gloss over a little bit, but I was seriously depressed. I, I was, I wanted to kill myself, but luckily I waited and you know, life, life got better. I worked hard, <laughs> kept focusing on my passion, what I love, and life got better. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't, don't even get to see their life blossom because they kill themselves before before they even get to see what happens just don't kill yourself all right you have so much potential as a human being you have potential to do great things we all do each every single one of us but whatever you think whatever you think in your head you can will into reality if you just work and you keep working you keep working hard you can you can do it all right and if you're good you're on your high you got no depression you're feeling great help others feel great because a lot of people they really just they just need a helping hand to get themselves back on track i just wish nick Cora hit me up before he ended his life because because maybe i could have done something about it and i don't know he could have still been living right now if i just talked to him. people who are depressed people who have their downs they're really good at hiding it so reach out to your loved ones like tell them you love them check up on your friends look out for each other because sometimes we just need a little help that's it but yeah anyway i guess that's all i gotta say i hope you enjoy the video